All right. Good evening, everybody. Dr. Glow here with Black Girl Everything. I know you've all missed me. I think I took a two-week hiatus from recording. Why did I take two weeks off? I don't know. I was recording a lot, like the last year. So I took a moment. So I have the beautiful Jasmine with me today. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. Thank you for having me. Well, I'm very happy to have you. So Jasmine, we're got, it's a very interesting live today because Jasmine's going to talk about a business that she is really interested in, in pursuing and but talking about the legalization of it, as well as some other options that she has available. Because sometimes you really have to do your research when you start your business because you think things are simple and sometimes they're just not. So Jasmine, let's start off with your business, how I met you. What is the name of your business? My name is Jasmine, and I am the owner of Sweets by Jazzy. I met you at a pop-up shop at the Ukraine Center. Yes, I want to go visit Mommy's Banana Pudding, and from mm -hmm. there, like, history. My first pop-up shop actually was with you last year at the, um, the music in the park, the first one, the first music one last year. Yeah, and where I had, like, 85 vendors in no tents. It was great. Yes, 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 yes. but it, it turned out to be amazing, and mm -hmm. from it's just a gold time, but I specialize in chocolate covered sweets, trying to make your cake table pop. And I actually started venturing off and making custom cupcakes and cake toppers. So here's one of them that I've been working on for one of my cousin's birthday party. And then, you know, huh? they've been props and things here and there. Who wouldn't want to, you know, take some funny looking pictures? <laughs> Okay, so now you're venturing off into this. So I met you with the with chocolate and stuff like that. So I really wanted, you know, you were very very hesitant about doing this because we did some more research and we realized that New York State has this law called the cottage law. So can you explain that to people? Because I, you know, this chocolate covered fruits and and stuff like that is popping up everywhere. Chocolate. A lot of people are doing it and stuff like that, but I don't think they're actually aware of the legalization of it because I think it was this our law started back in the 1970s that I read so can you give an explanation of what it is cottage law in the New York state is different food items different beverages that's actually prohibited what they tell you what you can sell and what you're absolutely not allowed to sell and yeah. then one chocolate covered fruits and all chocolate covered items period are prohibited to sell in the state of New York yeah and I think it's not necessarily just in the state. I think it also just has to do with the processing of it. Yes. Right. Yes, you definitely can't have that done from home. It has to be a full inspected food kitchen, fully equipped. Everything has to pass before you can actually go ahead and continue selling. Okay. So it seems as if from my understanding, so like say I have a school where the Department of Health comes and they actually certify my kitchen as a commercial kitchen. If you were renting the space within that, you can maintain your business, correct? Correct. Yeah. So you just can't do it out of your mom's kitchen. That's right. Okay. That's right. I also read so another option is about packaging that you could contract somebody else to package your product. That I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. That was something new that you that that you brought to my attention. But I've been doing a lot of research, a lot, especially with the strawberry recall that's been going on right now. Selling out of Walmart. Yeah, it's a strawberry outbreak um, of hepatitis A. It is very important to really do the research before anything and everything is done. It is, it's, it's that serious, especially when it comes to chocolate cover items. Wow. So they're recalling all strawberries coming out of Walmart? Is that yeah. my unit correctly? The organic ones, yeah. Oh, wow. Because of hep A? Yes. That's interesting. So you got to grow your own stuff. I grow, I grow, actually grow strawberries in my yard. Really? <laughs> yeah. If the field mice don't eat them, they might survive. But they tend to eat them, so they don't really survive. But yeah, we have some vines for strawberries. Ooh. Yeah, that's the best way to do it. That's the best way to do it. That's the, that's the safest way to do it now. Yeah, yeah, because you never know what's going on. So now as we're changing gears and we're going into this whole photo prop cake topper situation. So explain to me what your what is going to happen with this business and what that's going to look like. Well, I started off with the custom cupcake toppers because I feel like with my treats, one thing I've learned is presentation is key. Presentation is like, I'm super big on it. I wasn't the best when I first started, but over time, I've definitely learned, you know what I'm saying? But the, 
any business is a whole learning process, yep. you know? So I got a machine. I started my custom cupcake toppers. And then I had a request from my cousin for her birthday party. If I'm able to make party props. Hey, why not? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Let's see what can happen. And this is what I was able to come up with. So this is what I'm going to be bring off now, making some party props, custom cupcake toppers and cake toppers, along with the custom um, party treats. Okay. So stick with that. So expanding your actual yeah. brand and all the different things that you're offering yeah. for your customers. Yes. So what made you want to start this business in the first place? The pandemic. The okay. pandemic. Yes, I was pregnant. My little one is going to be two years old in September. And I used to work in Sue Leonard's. And, you know, the bosses and stuff, they wasn't trying to work around the schedule. So, hey, why not start something from home? Yeah. And that's where it all started. Really, because of my little one, everything just, it went booming. It went booming. I started with the, with the strawberries first. And then I ventured off into the Oreos and the pretzels. And now I'm having fun with the cake pops. I don't okay. try to out there at one time because you may think it's so easy but no no the first time i ever made cake pops they were a total fail a total 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 fail but again with research and everything i take different classes i look at many videos i'm in many different groups you know so kind of self-taught kind of get the, the teacher from the outside so i just put it all together and that's what i come up i came up with Okay, dope. So where do you see yourself going with this business? Like, what are some of your end games? What are some of your goals? My biggest, biggest, biggest goal, and I've been a year already in there, and with God, I just, my biggest goal is I, I would love to work with an event planner. Okay. That is my biggest, my biggest goal. You know, everybody helps one another. They set everything up, and then they have, you know, I'm able to offer a little party package. For them and then you know everybody just combines but my goal my biggest manifestation is to work with an event planner an event planner explain that to me like whether it's baby showers it's birthday parties it's somebody that decorating different um arenas event centers for a celebration that okay. is my biggest my biggest my biggest goal my biggest dream is to work with an event planner Okay, so they contract you to come on to do the desserts? Yes. The desserts. Oh. For like a little package, you know, and then, okay, hey, can you come and decorate my thing? Yeah, sure, fine. Are you interested in treats? Oh, I have somebody that, you know, does this as well. And it's just a big combination for everybody, you know. But that so is my goal. So that is your my goal. goal. Your real goal is to establish consistent contracts with event management companies. So you're as a go-to person for when they're having their events. Yes, because an event plan, they take on a lot of responsibilities. They take on a lot with organizing and planning and decorating and getting everything organized. A lot of them do their treats, you know? A lot of them do their treats. A lot of them don't. A lot of them get other people that, mm -hmm. that is my, that is my biggest manifestation is to work with an event planner. And I've been a year in and I feel like I've, I've grown. I know I got a lot of work to do, but that is my biggest, that is my biggest thing for five years. That's my goal. That is my goal. Okay. So I'm going to squeeze that one a little bit because that's how, that goal for me, for you is about this big. <laughs> oh, wow. The simple one. It's not that hard. It's not that easy, hard to reach. That's easy. That's easy work. That's easy work. So I want you to think bigger for me. If you could dream the biggest dream in the world, what would that be? Something that's so far out of your reach currently right now, what will that be? Finding a way around the chocolate-covered um, sweets. Okay. To get that, you know, I know, I know, like, what edible arrangements, again, it's, like, in a um, inspected kitchen and everything like that. But definitely to try to find my way around that as well. Well, you're not finding your way around it. You're going to get a contract with a commercialized kitchen that you actually can serve your product through. So that, again, now that one is, a. this first one was here. That one is about here. Now, I still about think you, I need, I'm going to need to push you. And honestly, people who are watching, the only reason why I'm pushing her, because she's part of the VIP collective, right? She's part of the crew of people who actually get specialized attention from me. So right now she's in the middle of a coaching session. She doesn't even realize it. So please tell me. So you've gotten here, you've gotten there. Now give me something maybe that's this big. What is a goal that's this big? Hmm. 
can I commit along with the business? I don't care. Give it to me. I think in maybe five years, I could have a cake out there. A little, you know, a little three-tier cake or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> my biggest right. one, my biggest goal, my biggest manifestation is an event planner. That is... That is hard because so many of them already have their go-tos. They already have their people, you know? Yeah, but they're always looking to contract on different people. That's just about your exposure levels. You're right, you're right. Your you're exposure right. has to be out. We're talking about your level of social media. You're talking about reaching out to organizations. We're talking about sending product as, as samples to major companies saying, hey, this is my samples. This is what I'm able to do, what I'm able to produce. So <laughs> those things are very simple. So I think to help you reach your goals, for you to get to your goals, get their third 90 days that's how that's how easy they are it's really interesting you know about what we manifest and why we don't dream bigger than our biggest dream mm -hmm. you know so your biggest dream is to work with somebody who plans events maybe because i live with an event planner for me it's kind of like oh, all right you know but you can do so much more than that and then also working for somebody, what is that really going to produce for you when it comes down to your longevity of your legacy for your son in regards to your finances and stuff like that? So I want you to start dreaming and thinking at a much larger scale about what you want to offer to the world as you, as Jazzy, and what that's going to look like. So now you're doing photo props and everything else like that. So why aren't you cornering the market of doing suites and having your own photo machines? That's what I mean when I talk about taking it from here and then going here and what that's going to look like when it comes down to scaling your business, right? That's what I talked about last night, right? How are we scaling? Yeah. What are we doing? Yes. What are we doing? So you added a new facet, but um, what can you add to actually build that into a corporation where, you know, you have multiple event planners contacting you because you can do multiple things. Right. That's my gem for you for today. <laughs> I love it. For you to think about before our next uh, VG Gem session on the 29th, the 29th when, we, yes. when we talk about it and you sit there and say, well, this is how I'm going to scale because I've been thinking about it for 29 days. And you're going to have a plan. You want to talk about it. But ultimately, just for anybody, for anybody who's actually watching this, it's just really important to not think the, don't think small, dream big. And that's why I always say dream big because your dreams will be only as big as you think they are. So if you're aiming just at this tier, okay, I just want to work with this person. That's fine. That's great. But it's a lot different if you say, I want to partner with a major event plant management company that services over the largest clientele in New York City. Right. And then how do you get there? And what are the steps to get there to that space? So you're on, you're on the land of dreaming big? I am. I am. I am. I definitely am. It's a lot to think about. Yeah, it's a lot to think about. And there's a lot to think about just in general when it even comes down to your son because you don't want him to think about the bare minimum. Right. You're right. Not the, not the bare minimum. The, the, world, the universe is yours. All you have to do is for the acts for the universe to provide, it will provide. So if you ask the, the universe to provide you small things, you'll get small things. You ask the universe to provide you big things, you will get big things. Right. You got to think big. Think big and only big. All the time. That's all we got is our dreams. I got Definitely you. our dreams. All right. So how can people get in contact? You can find me on Facebook, Sweets by Jazzy. Or you can find me on Instagram, Sweets by at Sweets by Jazzy. J-A-Z underscore Z-E-E. -E. Uh-huh. And that's all. I don't have a website yet, but that will be coming soon. But you could definitely find me on Facebook and on Instagram, Sweets by Jazzy. Yeah, as we talk, yeah, definitely went to that scaling conversation. Yes. I, I know. <laughs> well, you're still a very young business. And a lot of people, you know, it takes time to be able to build out the resources to figure out how to get those particular things done when it comes to building out websites and stuff like that. But, you know, as part of the collective, you get access to people from the BGE team to yeah. um, contract to help you get those particular things done. So, And for anybody that's watching and you're not a member, join today. Join today, join today. Trust me, join today. I am new, and because of you, I'm learning so much. Join today. Ready. 
Definitely. Well, I'm happy you say that because that's definitely true. People can join on my website, www.blackgirleverythingllc.com, as well as other things and also support my um, my campaign where I'm actually raising $15,000. Um, yeah, my campaign. Stressing me out. Not really, but it's a great thing. So the link is going to be dropped everywhere on my social media as well as that for people to donate as little as $10. If I get 1,500 people to donate $10, I'll reach my goal. You'll get there. You're gonna get. I there. am. I'm definitely gonna get there. I'm going to raise this 15 grand. It's, it's oh. like, I'm just getting ready to up. I'm practicing for when 150 that I'm gonna raise by the end of this year for my nonprofit. Oh. So, so this 15 is like, I got this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> so I gotta make another 64 days. Bio. And we can find the link right in the bio. Yeah, 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 yeah. The link is on uh, my my, my uh, page. Perfect. And actually, it's on my bio, too. The link is there. So you go to my, the website, www.blackgirlc.com. It's right there. You click it, and you can donate. And then also, it's not just about donation because I'm crowdfunding, so you get prizes and stuff. So you can purchase actual stuff that you can get. Well, you're already getting the T-shirts. You don't want to do that. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> there's other things that you're eligible, like uh, table membership fees and all this oh. other cool stuff and stuff like that. So I'm telling people, oh, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Support Black business. Yes. Yes. Every day, all day, all day. Definitely. So, Jazzy, how can people find you again? Tell people how they're going to find you. You can find me on Facebook, Sweets by Jazzy, or you can find me on Instagram at Sweets by Jazz underscore Z E E. Exactly. So, thank you, my love. Thank you, my love. I'll be sharing your your uh, things will be on my YouTube channel, Black Girl Everything. So, be sure that with the world, it'll email out on our mailing list. And then I'll also send you a copy so you can mail it out on your mailing list so people can get your views up. But listen, people better pay attention because, you know, last year I gave away money to my um, first place video. That's right. That's right. Yep. That competition was real. It was right. It was so close. It was so close. It, it was, was real out here. It was, it was going out. Listen, Van Gogh shoes us up. I think she's, at, she's well over 500 views. Ooh. People are still viewing her, her, pay, her thing. Yeah. That's well, she also is right on her website. It's on the front page of her oh, website. As soon as you go in, there goes some views. And, they're autom- and it's on automatic play. As soon as you log onto the website, bing, it starts. So smart. She's so smart. Smart marketing. That's what she wants. That's that right. Money. <laughs> she wanted, she wanted. All right, Bo, until we speak again, which will probably be like tomorrow. <laughs> All right, so be good. Start really dreaming big. And to anybody else out there, please remember to dream big because, again, the universe blesses you what you ask for. So ask for it all. Thank you for having me. All the time. Enjoy. Good night. Bye-bye.